Hey everybody, Pop Chaser here. Today we're gonna do a different kind of video. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try to start doing this kind of video maybe once a month. All right, and um, hopefully um, you will enjoy these kind of videos. But what I'm doing right now is gonna um, give you my personal uh, uh, preview of upcoming uh, banners for the global uh, for Final Fantasy Great Diving experience. Uh, global version. Um, I know everybody's probably busy uh, doing um, the uh, events and also following tickets on the uh, um, Veritas banner. Okay, and those are very good. Unfortunately, I have not been so lucky to get anything good. Um, let me turn on the music a little bit more. Also, like to uh, when I do these kind of videos, like to kind of show you my personal favorite um, music and anime music, I'm a big fan of anime, you know, and games, um, and lots of other things too, so, and uh, if you know what uh, music I'm playing, hey, shout out to me on the comments below, so I know, uh, you know, I got other fans out there too, so, um, so right now, we're gonna go through this uh, as soon, uh, quickly as I can, but we have a lot of information to go through, so, as, as you are pulling your you know, for the uh, banners right now, keep in mind that these upcoming banners uh, can affect your plans greatly. Okay, I know it does affect mine. So, um, then that, let's go over this really quick. Okay, so my top five upcoming banners. Number five, okay, in the descending order is uh, Roy. Okay, now. Uh, according to the um, according to the uh, uh, Wikipedia um, in Japan, Roy Banner should be coming really soon. Okay, um, in the next uh, three months, uh, unless Gumi changes their mind. Okay, um, why is Roy really good? Uh, I'm gonna show you real quick. Let's switch over to the Japan website. Okay, uh, let's go look at the ranking here. Okay, you can see on the top you have Eileen, Onion Knight, uh, Orlando, Titus. A lot of these units have been released in global now. Okay, uh, but a lot of these have not been. This is uh, our trusty old Ramza. Ramza is ranked really high, 98 points. But right here, Roy is ranked just as high as Ramza, 98 points. And there's a good reason for that. Let's go over and uh, take a look at Roy's um, uh, specifications. All right. So look at that limit burst. When he he's seeing, he gets plus 100 to 124 percent attack, defense, magic, spear, AOE, 1,150 hit points over three terms, and AOE, 20 MP heal over three terms. That is pretty awesome, right? Pretty awesome. Okay, that's a limit burst. Okay, so he's saying that okay, Ramza does not need limit burst. Does not need to wait. So isn't Ramza better? Well, first of all, Ramza's enhancements are not out yet, and we have no idea when it's going to be out. So I have a feeling that uh, Gumi is not going to release the Ramza enhancements until Roy comes out because they want you to spend the ticket because why does you have Ramza enhancements why spend ticket to get Roy right and um, also you look at this uh, Ramza has a lot of different uh, abilities okay AOE 50% three term stop okay this is a uh, attack okay you can you can uh, do attack on 50% chance. That's pretty good. That's more than uh, Noctis. And uh, he's got some attack abilities. Uh, but the most important thing is he's got songs. If you use consecutively the songs, look at this. The first term lasts two terms. And Gumi can change that for global. Okay. This AoE 100% plus defense spirit. Okay. And AoE heal to your whole turn whole team and then second time you cast this it will be 100% attack defense magic spirit um, and AOE heal AOE MP heal 
it uh, recover it's only costing 48 uh, MP so it's almost the same like a uh, Ramza and then you go on then the third song now this is even better not only do you plus 100% buff to your whole party it is minus 40% uh, full break debuff to your enemies and pl plus the AOE heal AOE MP recover and then if you've seen the finals on the fourth turn okay it'll be 110% uh, buff to everything plus minus 45 percent full break to to your enemy okay so this is pretty awesome and this is before Roy has any enhancements and uh, which he doesn't have yet so I'm expecting that in the future he will have enhancement to make it even more awesome okay so this is one uh, this is the upcoming banner which uh, I'm pretty excited about right and uh, Let's, but let's switch over to the um, uh, the banner again uh, presentation now Roy is not only number 5 why because number 4 is cloud okay we're at the point where we're gonna be getting cloud really soon okay and why is cloud awesome alright let me uh, in Japan cloud is usually used by players as a finisher and because he does a lot of damage okay he's He's like um, Olive Single Wheel, but his damage is so much more, so much more. Let's switch over to to Japan again and, and take a look. Uh, I take a look at the stats. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm a little bit um, disorganized. So I'm gonna close out on the Roy. I'm gonna go look at Cloud. Okay, in the uh, global cloud wiki, there's already some stats on cloud. Uh, keep in mind, this might, this may change. Okay, uh, when it's released, so cloud it does a lot of damage. It's got some chaining attacks, cross slash, and paralyzed physical damage three x to all enemies plus two seven five. You can roll fifty percent to one enemy. Okay, meteor rain. This is a uh, is his big uh, chaining attack 1.8 ignore defense 50% to all enemies okay that's only 3.6 so but that's a hit okay and then there's a 4x to all enemies okay and uh, why is cloud cool it's attack plus 100% when single wielding okay and then you can put a double hand material to him uh, I think it stack up so maybe you can get up to 200% uh, attack and um, it ha just has a lot of good stuff and it, it, the limit uh, limit break uh, increases really fast too so um, and you look at that it increases uh, it's got some pass increase attack defense magic speed of 30% automatically increase HP MP 50% automatically so basically just single wielding you got 130% base without any uh, a, a base attack bonus without any other bonuses so that's why in Japan a lot of players have gotten check this 1500 attack 1500 attack man I can barely get to 900 on my Noctis okay and I've seen some people get a thousand on their uh, Orlando or on their uh, Olive okay but 1500 attack and that's incredible that's incredible. Also, that's not all. The limit burst of uh, Cloud, I've seen it. It is the most awesome kill you will see. It's a uh, at Omni Slash at the maximum is 10.5 with ignore defense, 50% to one enemy, and it's a 15 hit combo hit, chaining hit. So look at that. That's basically a 21 x, 21 times damage. And it's a 15 hit. Woo! And no wonder, like, I've seen some video where Cloud can single handedly kill the trial bosses. Okay, even the Igon. I think if you chain it well, you can single one turn kill the Igon. Uh, I, I, I think there's a video out there I need to look for. But Cloud can do a lot of damage. So that's why he's number four on my upcoming banner. 
All right, so let's go look at the next one, right? Next banner, Ayaka and Lauren, or Lorraine in Japan, they call it. Uh, why is this banner cool? Um, now, this may be a different banner when it comes up because in Japan, there's two five-star base units together, okay? But in global, they may do things differently or may do uh, the same. So let's go over to the uh, to the uh, Japan wiki again. So let's we finish with Cloud. Let's go to Ayaka. Let's uh, get more. Ayaka is a five-star base, and she is single-handedly the best healer in the game, even in Japan right now. Uh, or uh, maybe uh, CG Sakura uh, is, is better, but um, a lot of people use Ayaka, and there's a good reason. Look at that. It's got really high heal to everybody, meditate, increase magic spirit, and attack defense 45% for fire turns to all allies. Heal and cure all elements, ailments to all allies. And look at this, cure stop. Okay, this is one of the first units that will be able to cure stop okay Vong can resist stop but once you got stop you cannot do anything so Ayaka can cure stop not only that it's resist to stop herself so she cannot be stopped and she can cure all your units to stop okay and she's resistant to paralyze confuse and petrify as well and silent and uh, she's dual casting she has a uh, full revive for all parties, just like um, Tilith and uh, Riku. And uh, dedication, you can restore MP 50, per, 50 MP and heal 2500 HP to all, just like um, Tilith. All right. So she can do healing, she can do resisting stuff, cure stuff, she can revive everybody. Okay. So, what else is she missing? Right, she got Kuraja, Kurada. Also, she's got Kurada. You can dual cast Kurada, okay, and uh, full life, auto race. Now, auto revive one ally for three turns, eighty percent HP. That's pretty awesome. Right now, that not many units can do that, okay. Um, uh, let me think. I think Zagabath maybe can. No, not Zagabath. Uh, I, I forgot. There's one unit that can do that, uh, but not re uh, not many units can do that. Okay, so imagine this for your uh, eye guy on trial. You can just use this uh, Ayaka to auto revive your uh, tank or auto revive your um, highest attack unit, so he will not die. And this Spellga remove all status elements status effects for all enemies now so basically ayaka has got everything everything can need from a healer and a support unit all right also decreased chance of being targeted by 75 percent oh and then she's got plus 50 plus 30 she's got plus 80 percent spirit just native uh, passive okay so and then look at this in limit burst kill all status ailments and status debuff to all allies okay and revive all allies and heal all allies 100 percent basically you will never die with this and uh, Riku right Riku will auto revive your whole body and then you will have uh, Ayaka to heal anybody who die so that's pretty awesome that's why she's really high now on the same banner you have another one called Lauren Let's take a look at Lauren. Okay. Lauren is a, uh, a five star base. Uh, we don't know. She's supposed to come out together with Ayaka. So, at that banner, you, it's going to be uh, really difficult to not pull. Uh, Lauren is a fighter. Okay. It's got the same like Warrior Light debuff 45% to everything. Okay. For three turns. Physical combo. Uh, okay. It got. Full break plus, okay. It's basically 
It's a full break, but it's 45% break and this damage for three turns to all to one enemy. Okay, it's a 45 MP. It's a pretty expensive, but it's a full break, so you don't have to do two at, at the time. Because armor eraser, arms eraser is two turns. Full break plus is one turn. And then she's got two chaining attack, physical blade prison, physical damage 4x to one enemies, 10, 10 hits, and another one. Increase attack defense 50% for 4 turns to caster. Plus, you get access to something else called uh, Swift uh, Wind Blade and Quick Bolt Blade. Okay, 4.5x times 10 hits. Or physical damage 2.5x with ignore defense. So that's a 5x. 8, 8, 8 hits. Okay, so it's pretty, pretty good uh, chain damage. And uh, it's also dual wheel, okay. It's dual wheel. You don't need to equip with uh, another dual wheel material. Not too many dual wheel units right now, okay. Except for Lunet and uh, Lightning. And uh, it's got the HP, MP recover, okay. And then you can counter with full break plus. Also increase defense spirit when HP drop below 30. That's the same like uh, Wellhound or uh, Veritas of Earth, okay. It's pretty tanky. Okay, plus 50% will equal to this sword. So the base stat is plus 80% attack. That's pretty awesome. And then increase the uh, LB uh, uh, limit break. So, and then when you have a limit break, is physical damage 4.2. Ignore defense 50% to all enemies. Plus decrease lightning and wind resistance 74% to all enemies. And then you can use the uh, chaining attacks. And it's a 15 hit. Oh my god, so it's basically 8.2. It's not as good as Cloud, but it's better than anything we have right now. Okay, so that's why Lauren is a pretty, pretty damn good uh, unit. So let's uh, continue on to the next one. Onion Knight. So what's better than uh, Ayaka and uh, Lauren is Onion Knight. Now, why is that? Onion Knight is, has been said, uh, you probably heard about him. He is by far the, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Onion Knight is the banner. Okay, so let's go go, go look at the, uh, uh, This is after enhancement. This onion knight does not have enhancements yet. Okay, so let's look at the uh, the stats for uh, onion knight. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to go into depth. I just want to tell you how awesome these upcoming units are. So you be prepared and uh, save all your tickets if you need to. Limit break 680 AOE 16 hit physical attack AOE 3 turn plus 50 attack AOE 3 turn minus 50% debuff that's the base and the 800% max maximum if you max out the LB is 800% AOE 16 hit physical attack plus AOE 3 turn plus 105% attack plus AOE 3 turn minus 74% Defense debuff, my god, that is basically, oh, so it's basically 800 times 3 is, is 2500, 2400% of uh, attack damage, think about that, 2400%, that's more than cloud, and that's a 16 hit, okay, plus it's buffing your 
whole party is attacked by 105%. Wow. And then it's 100% blind, petro, pet, paralyzed, petrified, uh, uh, resist. And it's dual wheel native. Okay. And it has a lot of attack. It's like 380%, 12 hit, wind, water, fire, plus, uh, uh, earth resist, fire resist, and water resist. I don't know why they like, um, different. Uh, like if you do fire, why do you turn off your water resist? It doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, that's, that's what it is. And the, everything he does is like multi hit chains. 220% AOE, 12 hit. Okay, and then uh, we recover MP, and then plus fifty percent attack when you equip with the sword. Okay, and then plus thirty attack. That's plus eighty percent attack native plus all the other stuff that he does. Uh, and then he has fifty percent against and dead. Okay, and this is the big big one. Whereas three hundred eighty percent twelve hit earth alum earth physical attack. Plus AOE 310 plus 70 percent wind resist, okay, and then plus 30 percent uh, resist to everything, and then he has 400 percent st standard uh, single target 12 hit physical attack, so he has a lot of single target attack, and he has a uh, a lot of 12 hit AOE attack as well, okay, so um, he can chain and it chains very well with a lot of units, okay. And I've seen uh, Onion Knight with like 1,200 attack uh, in Japan. Okay, some some people even have more, like 1,400 attack. And uh, he's pretty amazing. Okay, he's the by far the best trainer in the game. Okay, and it has multiple elements: see, wind, water, fire, earth. So you can chain with Eileen. You can chain with uh, uh, fire. Let's Vargas. You get water with Atidas. Win with Fallen, okay. Um, it does not change. Uh, does not have light attacks right now, but um, it's still it's pretty. You don't if you get like two of these guys, uh, and the cloud, well, you can basically kill any boss you have. We have, okay. So it's pretty awesome, pretty awesome. So let's go. But what is better than Onion Knight? All right. So let's go to number one. Let's go to number one. Near Automata. Near Automata uh, banner is coming, should be coming really soon. It'd be either immediately after um, Onion Night or before Onion Night. It might even come next week, who knows? Okay. Gumi might just want you to spend all your tickets on the uh, Veritas uh, banner this week and then immediately offer this banner next week. Now, why is it number one? Not because the units, uh, the units are really cool. Two B is a five star, nine is a four star, and then two ten is a three star. It's not just because the units are good, okay, but because it's a limited edition. You can only get it one time. Now, if you miss Onion Knight, you can still have a chance to get him later. Same thing with uh, the Veritas and other units. But near automata, you can only get it during those two weeks. Okay, that's why, that's why it's important we get it. Okay, so let's let's go look at the uh, Japan side and why is it so good, right? So um, let's look at two B, right? So we have the uh, actually the global wiki already has it. Two B has a pretty nice trust master reward. Okay. That's nice. It's a katana. It's best katana. Plus 130% MP plus 20. Okay, and it's uh, neutral. But that's not all. It has so many di different um, um, attack combos. If uh, physical damage 5 hit, 2.5 to all enemies. If used after pot charge, physical damage combo 3 times. Total 7.5x to all enemies. Woo. And then you can use. Uh, uh, Physical damage to uh, paralyze, physical damage to all enemies, okay. And they have uh, a lot of different combos. You can do 100% uh, damage to uh, mechanical monsters like the Igion robot. So 2B will be very good for the Igion tribe. Auto revive as well. 
Okay, so and uh, unfortunately it's only one turn. Physical damage 4x. Okay, 10 here. This is the big big one. Speed attack. And then if you use after avoid attack, it becomes 6x to one enemy. But it's a 10 hit. Also suicide bomb. Uh, it's 10 times with HP sacrifice to all enemies. Uh, it's a little bit risky because you 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 uh, you have to sacrifice yourself almost. Okay. Um, but there's a way to get mitigate that. Uh, if you have a good healer, just bring it back up. Okay, increase HP 40%, increase attack 50%, increase attack 30%. So right out of the box, he's got plus 80% um, attacks. And dual wheel, dual wheel, native. Okay, same as Onion, Knight, and uh, Lauren. Okay, and uh, restart. Chance to ignore fatal damage when uh, HP above 10%. This is same like uh, Fravia's. Um, so it's really hard to kill him. Really hard to kill him. Okay. Uh, you can evade 20%, evade magic as well, and um, it's pretty nice, okay? Um, it's got a lot of attacks, avoid attack, look at this, 9x to one enemy, 8 hits, and then the limit burst, physical damage, 5.4x with ignore defense, 50, that's like 11%, 11x, and it's 10 hit combo, so that's why 2b is ranked very high very high 2b is right here 98 out of 100 it's the same as veritas of dark okay and don't look at that notice notice in japan is like 10 times more powerful than the notice in uh, global which i'm really pissed off because i have two notice and um, gumi nerfed notice so much it's he's basically not usable anymore all right anyway that's a different conversation um so not to be is really good, but he's a five star base, so you may not be able to get her, but there's a good chance you will get 9s. And why 9s so good? Which I personally want to get 9s so badly. I want to get two of them. Okay, it's because of her um, uh, TMR. TMR. Okay, it's got some special effects. Okay, heal over three turns to all allies. Boost rate of dro I didn't drop on enemies, no, nothing special. Uh, physical damage mitigation, 40% for two turns to all life. This is the best in the game right now. 40% physical damage mitigation. Higher than Veritas Earth, higher than Riku. And then Mirage. So you put it on anybody. I don't know if it's stacked with uh, Riku. That that would be pretty interesting. No, I think it just overrides weakness of protection. So you put it on another unit, maybe your healer or some support unit, right? And then this one is what I really like. Physical damage, three extra all enemies, eight hit combo. So basically, you can use this to make any unit a chaining attack unit. Think about this: if you can make your Luneth, make your uh, Ferion, make your Noctis into a chain, or even your uh, uh, Lightning, which is pretty useless now but lightning has native dual will and can have really high attack and if you give her a good chaining attack I, I don't know if if uh, I think this chaining uh, attack the animation is pretty good so you can make make any unit into a very good chainer okay and it's a hit chainer so that's pretty pretty good so and then 9s has a lot of good stuff too Deep by 50% magic spirit. Okay, that's pretty nice. Okay, and then HP drain 40%, paralyzed uh, hack, inflict stop 40%. Okay, this is higher than Noctis. Okay, and then uh, it can increase elemental resistance 50%. Okay, decrease no deep buff 50%. That's pretty damn nice. Basically, you can debuff your enemy. 50% fire, lightning, wind, ice, water, earth. Wow, imagine that. And then she's got a suicide attack, the same as 2B. Okay, but I cannot do a wheel. Okay, and then you got damage mitigation. Okay, same as Riku, but you don't have to wait another turn. Riku will have to activate that synthesis. Okay, so with 9S, you don't have to wait another turn. And then you can debuff attack spirit. Uh, okay. Enemy. So it's a very very nice support unit, support and debuff unit, 
and uh, evade damage 20% okay increase attack okay so it's not a big damage dealer itself but it's a support unit the uh, limit break is pretty good 8.65 to one enemy and then the debuff attack defense spirit 54% and disease that doesn't do anything so it's pretty nice unit and it's only four star base so there's a good chance that all of us can get it okay so this is why a uh, near automata is my number one okay uh, not because it's better than uh, uh, on your night but because it's limited edition okay so um, now this is just what I'm uh, guessing will be coming in the next three months okay for sure we will get near automata in the next um, 30 days okay uh, that, that's what Gumi has announced but I don't know about the other banners things can change because Gumi has skipped quite a few let's let's go ahead and look at the um, uh, the next banner honorable mentions these are banners that may come in the next few months uh, Priest is a pretty good unit Balthier is very good attack unit it's supposed to come out at the same time with uh, Ash and Vaughn okay but it didn't come uh, Dragon Lord we skipped this a long time ago okay and Veritas Light is supposed to come very soon uh, this is the second Veritas banner it will be Veritas Light Veritas of uh, I think wind and uh, something else. Uh, Veritas of water, okay. Um, Veritas of light is pretty good unit, but it's not as good as Veritas of dark, unless Gumi makes some changes, okay. Nyx, Nyx is a very nice unit, okay. So um, uh, these are these are very nice banner that may come on next few months. But I, I don't know if they will come, and um, uh, I don't think they are as good as the top five. Okay, uh, so we're going to uh, take a look at some of these. Let's look at the update schedule. Uh, now you can see what I'm talking about. You can see that this is the global schedule. We skip quite a few things. Okay. Uh, See, Balthier supposed to be released with Ash and Razor, it did not get released. Priest supposed to be released, we skipped that. Uh, we went to Veritas of Dark, so there's a possibility any of those can be released, or Near Automata can be released. And then upcoming next is Onion Knight, okay, after the Veritas banner, supposedly. Um, and after that will be Veritas of Light. Heaven, water, okay, and then there's Noctis, which we already have, so the other units are not worth mentioning. Um, and then Nyx is coming. Crow is also a very nice uh, unit, okay, and it's only a four star, so a lot of us will be able to get it. And Lauren and Ayaka is five star banner, okay, and then uh, we get into Cloud, Cloud. Alfreda, Alfreda, I don't know too much about it. She's not as highly ranked. It's a five star too. So, and then there's Roy after Cloud. Okay, and then there's Calcis, which you already have. Okay, and then a bunch of other. Uh, and I don't know if there are any good units. Okay, so that's it for this next few months. Three, because right now we are at uh, October, and this is uh, February. So it's about next three four month. Okay. And then we're gonna get into really some really interesting things. Uh, let's see. Um, let's go back into my to to my PowerPoint. So what's coming after this? Okay. What's coming after this? Uh, well, actually, before I do that, maybe I will show you a little bit of preview of why I think uh, Balthier is good. Okay, here's Balthier, Balthier Mix. It's a five-star base. Okay, 
It's a uh, it's a gun wielder. It's um, got attack 50% plus 30% plus 80% uh, attack. Okay, a lot of countering 30%, evasion 15%, both physical and then magic. Okay, and uh, it has uh, pretty good uh, damage. Physical damage 1.5 x no defense 50% decrease lightning water light damage. Okay, so it's a damage dealer and a breaker uh, debuffer. Okay, but it's not a chainer, so it, it's a pretty good unit, but it's not something that's on on par with the top five. Okay, I don't know why Japan ranks them really well. Uh, Belt here is ranked, you know, in the top 15. Is ranked 97, same as uh, Cloud. Although I don't think Belt here is as good as Cloud by far. And then Nyx, Nyx is ranked pretty high too. Okay, uh, it's a five-star base. Um, he's got some interesting uh, abilities. Got a chaining attack, King Sword. Physical damage with no whatever we don't know 50% decrease fire resistance 50% so pair with a fire chaining attacker and then physical de damage with ignore defense de de he can also do debuff okay it's like warp break the Japanese warp break okay uh, attack defense 45 magic spirit 45% and at L at fire elemental it's a little bit like Vargas okay. Uh, next, but it's built-in dual wheel, okay. Built-in dual wheel and negative is plus seventy percent attack, okay. I don't know why it's a dagger when it's uh, usually, sh um, yeah, okay. So you need the equipment with a dagger, maybe a bowie knife or something. But then it, it, it's already built-in dual wheel, so it's kind of a interesting unit. It's it's um. It's not a top unit because it does have some deficiencies, okay? It's got a four hit combo, chaining attack, okay? Uh, so it's an interesting unit. Uh, it's not a top five, okay? So... That's... Okay, so what's coming af after this? After the next three, four months? Okay, I want to give you a... A, a little tentative preview, okay? What's coming after this? Far future, maybe four months or more. Okay, the top will be Sage Sakura, or also known as CG Sakura, or as S2 Sakura, Season 2 Sakura. And White Lotus Fina, CG, or also known as CG Fina, okay? In, in Season 2, Gumi has come up with a lot of um, New versions of Sakura, Fina, Laswell, and Jake. They added like uh, CG animation to their uh, limit breaks, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Okay, and these are the top. Okay, uh, say Sakura might be the top healer and support. White Lotus Fina is also healer and and the attack unit. Uh, it it's pretty awesome. These these units are. Uh, let me see. Um, look at this. They're right up there. 99 points out of 100. This is Fina. This is CG Sakura. Okay. Um, I don't want to go into detail too much right now, but just take my word for it. They're awesome. Okay. You will see a lot of people using them for their big fight with, against the bosses. Um, and. Um, What's what's next? Uh, sorry, I lost my <laughs> train of thought. Uh, oh boy, did I lose my? Uh, did I lose my? Uh, I think I lost my uh, presentation. Sorry about this. Uh, So I hope you're still seeing this. Okay. So and then another uh, some of the top ones: a Mystere, Beatrix, Ice Flame, Laswell, Yuna, Lulu, and Bosch. 
Okay, then there's a bunch of other ones. That's pretty good, like Pro, William. Okay. Uh, I don't want to go into that too much, but I want to touch on Mystere and Beatrix. Okay. Ice Flame Last was pretty nice unit, but it's not as good as he is cool. He looks cool, but he's not as good. Yuna is pretty good. Bosch is supposed to be one of the best tank. Okay. It might even be better than Veritas of Earth and uh, Warrior of Light. Okay. But Mystere and uh, Bosch, I mean Mystere and uh, I'm gonna go over really quick before we uh, end this. Uh, okay, so let's go back to the um, Japanese side. This is Mister. Okay, uh, the TMI is okay. Um, I think it's fancy, but look at the ability she got. Uh, protect our Shaoga. Okay, and. Um, she has a 30% chance to defend any ally from magical damage. Okay, and then reduce 50% physical and magical damage. And 50% physical and magic mitigation. Okay, and that's a passive. Okay, see that? That's a passive. Now, she can also cast a spell, 20 MP, three turns, 50% increase up to 50% chance to defend allies from magic damage. And then plus 50% physical magic damage mitigation. So that's pretty awesome. Now all the tanks right now can protect you against physical damage, but cannot do anything when it's magical. So Mister is the unit that can do magical tank. She's basically a magic tank. Okay, and decrease target chance by 50%. And then it's 100% all element, all ailments resist. And then plus it's a stop deep stop resist too okay so it will protect you against all ailments plus stop against enemy for three turns right now we have Vaughn who can do stop and then we got some like um, Ilias that can do 100% all ailments but Ilias is not really common use nobody has it together okay and so you have this and you have the tanking abilities and then you have damage mitigation for self okay and uh, you have uh, wow self 100% HP recovery self remove and debuff wow okay so if if she got debuff okay or she she can just cast this and then she got 100% recovery and she's dual cast okay uh, she can remove any uh, debuff self turn Okay, there's another one, self debuff, return plus 50% defense spirit, so she can tank herself really good. Okay, um, she's got so many nice abilities, so many. Okay, and uh, let's look at her 11 break 30% damage reduction plus 70% spirit AoE buff to 42% damage reduction, AoE 3 turn. Plus 94% spirit buff. Wow. So basically, she's the super, the number one magic tank in the game right now. I mean, Japan. Okay, number one. Okay, and it's gonna be our number one as well. Okay, so that's why Mystere. If you have Mystere and one of your big tanks like Warrior of Light or um, Veritas of Earth, man, you are um, almost unbeatable. Okay. And, and then you have maybe a uh, uh, Ayaka or uh, Se uh, Sakura. Oh my God, you're like really good. Everything will be easy. Everything will be easy. Okay. And um, here's also let's look at Yuna really quick. Yuna is the uh, summoner. Okay. She's kind of weird. What she does is like she can really increase your Asper damage and increase your Asper gauge, uh, and uh, it does some weird, you know, does hybrid damage not next to all enemies. Okay, so I I don't know how exactly she's used. Okay, but she's really good and she's ranked really high in Japan. Okay, um, and. Uh, 
uh, let me see do we have time left uh, we can look at um, so if you look at the top units I think I cover all the top units okay um, Beatrix Beatrix li uh, listed 98 out of 100 that's Bosch be just below her Beatrix is a very nice unit okay uh, she's a damage dealer as I remember okay so anyway I think we're out of time just um, I will go do in depth as we get in closer but as you can see we got some really really nice units coming okay really nice units so um, just because you don't get any luck right now doesn't mean you will not have luck to get these future units okay so that just make sure that hey you save some tickets for near automata and the onion knife these are the top two banners coming really soon okay so uh, i think that's uh i think that's it for now thank you for watching the video okay and if you like my video or if you have any comments or if you don't agree with my ranking just uh, leave some comments below okay thanks peace out